Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new 2-pack from the 95 Pit Crew Series Hydrog Lightning Ramon and Pit Crew Member Flow and we have a brand new release of Hydrog Lightning Ramon um, only the regular version of Lightning Ramon has been released never the hydraulic version and uh, Pit Crew Member Flow has been upgraded to a unibody but um, she has been released before, and um, <clears throat> she's also been released before with the tray, only has a different item on the tray, and we'll take a look at that when we uh, unbox this, but um, as you guys may have kind of realize or assume that this video is coming out Sunday, is because I didn't find anything yesterday when I went out hunting, I went to three Walmarts, two Targets, came up dry, no, nothing, I didn't find none of the new singles, None of the new Deluxe with uh, Brian Fuel or anything. Um, the last Walmart I did stop in though had the two-pack case with um, Hydra Lang Ramon, but no loss in those are Van and Mini. Only had these, and I'm not picking up a second one of these. Uh, unless one time I might just pick up one, I'm not sure yet, but um, I didn't see really a good card there. Um, but uh, I just was kind of discouraged too, so I didn't buy it. And, um, so, yeah, <clears throat> there is only one of the Lost in the Desert Van Mini, as I mentioned in my previous video, but there are four of these, so this should be pretty easy for you to find if you do desire it. Then there's also, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, two Sally and Lightning McQueens, and one Francesco Bernoulli and Giuseppe, and one Easy Idol 2-pack. So let's get on to this. Um, it's number Ramon is 5 out of 8 and Flow is 6 out of 8 in the series and um, the rest of the cars being released in the series are brand new we got Pick Remember Mac and then the Doc Hudson with the stand if you want to check out the 2015 poster you can uh, look at those and you can see the bio here Lightning McQueen's trusty Pick Crew leaves Rayer Springs to travel the world is team Lightning McQueen I have a lot of problems with this. Well, one, they showed their original team, Lightning McQueen, up here, which are the Pities, and um, those only appeared at the beginning movie, and I really like a release of those. I don't know why they never did release those. They only released, I'm, my name's not Chuck, who's actually getting a release this year again, but um, they never released those, yet they show a picture of them, and they're not even getting released this year, and then the bio for this is from Cars 2, when all the cars in this series are all the um, pit crew members are um, from the first movie, of course. And um, they did all the Cars 2 versions of these last year. Um, so it's just kind of annoying that Mattel doesn't match the picture with the cars with the bio there. It was really frustrating. They did that with the race fans this year, too. And um, they might have done it with something else. I haven't really paid attention too much. Another thing that's kind of lazy. I mean, um, when they originally released Hydra or Lightning Ramon, they had this bio, so they didn't need to change that. I mean, it already did kind of look hydraulicized. And you can see there's Flo with the tray right there. And um, when Flo has a single release this year, just regular Flo, they have the same bio with the tray, even though Flo is not release with the tray as a single um if that made any sense to you guys but um just mattel is getting a little lazy with their um i guess present um presenting their cars and stuff i don't know i'm not i don't really care about that but um it might be a little bit disappealing to other people or if they are knowledgeable i mean i assume a lot of people or kids i guess who buy these um aren't gonna be realizing those things so I can completely understand that, and um, so I guess maybe that's why Mattel doesn't try as much, but just kind of noise collectors like me. So let's get started. We'll take a look at Flow first, since that will be the easiest one or the fastest one to um, take a look at. But um, I have a relatively new version of Flow right here. As you can see, um, it's pretty new. It's got the flat eyes. I know they changed a lot of the eyes from becoming raised to flat. And this is just a regular flow, um, very nice. I always liked flow, always had that kind of glittery spectra flame paint to her. And um, as you can see there, she's got a nitro aid kind of gasoline can there, and very small on the tray, um, if we could focus there. But that is nitro aid, you really have to be in person to see it, but you can, can just kind of see the logo, but it's extremely blurry. I don't know why Mattel could have made that a little bit um, clearer. Um, and her license plate reads a showgirl, and um, mine actually, 
Oh yeah, it's show girl. I um, thought it was kind of mixed up on mine. It's just kind of um, a little bit off the uh, tempo there. And um, they also did kind of add, if you can see there, that flow is nothing really above the license plate. And um, this version of flow I can see has the version that says, oop, if we could, I don't think it's gonna focus, but I can see that it says motor, motor something, 19 something. But it does say something about the, how the, I think the show she used to be in in blue up there. And um, so that's pretty much it for Flo. She did get a different expression. Her mouth is open. You can see her mouth in there. And this one's a closed mouth. The eyes are a little bit different as well. And um, let's just get him off the turntable. Here is another. Uh, here's the um, original version of Pick Remember Flo with the Nitro A tank. Um, um, I'm pretty sure this was actually released in a Toys R Us um, Radio Springs Classic 3 pack in 2013, the end of 2013 I think. But there you go, you guys can see a difference in the mouth plates right there. This flow is a mouth plate, you can see the line going right through there. And this is a solid piece of metal, I, I much um, like the um, <clears throat> unibodies, it's, it's very nice, it makes it a little bit uh, more Kind of, it feels more like a nicer car. It looks nicer because you don't have that crack. Um, this one also has the motor. We're focusing problems, but uh, this one also has kind of the motor um, 19, whatever it says in blue up there. But it's a lot um, blurrier than on the the newer version. So they did make a few upgrades on that, unless that was unique to mine that it was um, blurrier or something. And uh, here's the other version of Flow with Trey who has, instead of a nitro A tank, has an oil can, um, and it's kind of the same oil can I think that Mater has in that 2010 release when he was on TQRIs and came, it was like Mater sipping oil or something. But it says motor oil there, and this, this uh, one appeared at the end of the first movie Cars. This one appeared, of course, when Lady McQueen was racing and she was a part of the pit crew. And uh, there you guys go, you can see the difference in expressions there. And um, on the back, this version also has the blue because it was a relatively new release. It all, um, that one's a lot clearer. You guys could probably even see that on camera. It says Motorama 1970, 57. Yep, 1957. Motorama or something. I think Motorora or something. Motorama, I think, 1957. So that's a much clearer version. I never noticed that on my flow before. So, um, wow, that's pretty cool. We learned something new today, guys. And then um, I also have this version of flow. It's a lenticular version of the flow with um, the uh, the uh, oil can. Uh, can't, didn't, that didn't come to me that fast. All right, um, now let's move on to Ramon here. Quite interesting, uh, again. Um, I really actually like the way this one looks. Although, there is a problem with it, and um, I don't get how they could not get this right again. This is the second time they've screwed up on the hydraulic and regular version, but there is a very big difference in paint there. As you guys can see, the original Lightning Ramon is more of a orangish metallic paint, and uh, wow, this guy stands up on his own, on, on his own like that. But um, the new version is red. It doesn't really have too much of a glitter spectra flame paint to it. But they're supposed to be the same. They're the same scene. Ooh, mine has a pink blemish right there. You guys can see, look at that. Blue right on the paint there. That looks really bad. Wonder if I can get that off. Um, eh, scratch, scratch. No, that's not coming off. Well, that kind of stinks. But um, whatever. Maybe someday. I guess maybe I'll try to get a new version of that. But that really is unfortunate. Got that blue paint smudge right there. It's not that noticeable, I guess. But, um... Of course, they are the Lightning Ramones, that's why they're called Lightning Ramones, because they got the Lightning Bolt. And the Lightning Bolt is pretty much the same, and there's a little bit difference in the paint. But the real noticeable difference is according to the whole body paint. So I honestly don't know, of course, they did change the windows too, from black to gray. Um, at least we can count on the license plate being the same, low and slow. But um, apparently when Ramon lifts himself up and becomes hydraulicalized, he changes colors too. It's kind of like a color changer. I mean, here we go. The regular Ramon, purple, and change colors when uh, he hydraulicalized or something. 
And um, he also got a thing in the back. I mean, or the windows got clear or something. But uh, Mattel just doesn't remember the other version. They just are very lazy with that. I'm not really don't like that. However, if they did get one correct, the Radiator Springs Ramon when he lifted himself up and this paint he didn't change which is very nice his window colors did change a little bit but not too bad uh, or the the actually windows got clearer i guess when he lifted himself up and um <clears throat> so at least he didn't change colors for this one though i mean there is a slight color difference but it's basically not the basically the same um so i mean at least they did that right but um Apparently, whenever Ramon lifts himself up, most of the time he changes colors. Um, and I'm being very uh, sarcastic right now because I'm annoyed with Mattel that they screw this up. And it's just annoying. I mean, you want your cars to look the same when they're supposed to be the same. And uh, because they were in the same scene. They were in the same scene. And just so in comparison, this is the red Ramon with all the patterns on it. Um, just kind of a comparison wise. Nothing really too special, but you can kind of see the difference in coloring there between orange and red and um that's all for the lightning hydraulic ramon or hydraulic lightning ramon again kind of unfortunate oh, that's the wrong one where's the right one here it's over here and um so that's kind of unfortunate but they do look nice together i have to say but um this guy's going in my display case right next to the regular version they're not gonna look too good together but uh that's pretty much it for today um i apologize if i was kind of getting sarcastic or annoyed with Mattel there. I mean, uh, it's just kind of odd. I don't understand why they can't do it the way um, they originally did it, but I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure Lightning Ramon even got a re-release in 2013. I don't know, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. It did kind of go on for a while. Not as long as the Lost in the Desert van and mini, but uh, Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'm not gonna, I repeat that at least three times when I do the endings. I've rewatched the endings in my video. I just hope, hope, you, hope you guys did know. Okay. Well, I, um, hopefully I can find some of the new cars soon. Really, I've been striking out. I do need that new Strut Jetstream Dusty Crop Hopper. And I need the new singles. And I'd like to get a Brian Fuel and a Tractor Deluxe. And of course, I'd like another Lost in the Desert Van Mini. But, um, that's it for today, guys. I know you guys did enjoy, I'm just going to say that. And thank you for watching, and have a good Sunday. If you're watching this on Sunday, that's when I'll be uploading it. Alright, see you guys.